Well, of course, you watch the real news here on ABC4, but if you were ever interested in the fake news, that would be this man right here. Norm MacDonald's back, and we are talking about all of his stints that he's done on TV, movies, his comedy show that's coming up to Ogden this weekend or tonight. So, Norm, first of all, how many years did you do the fake news on Saturday Night Live? Uh, about five seasons? Three, two and a half, three. And it's stuck. I mean, isn't that what people know you most when, you know, they see yeah. you out in public? They're yeah, they mostly know that. I didn't know you were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, yeah, I was on that show. <laughs> you could have won a million. I saw that. I won a half a million dollars, but I didn't get to keep it. I had to give it to a charity. Darn it. What charity Darn did you it. give it to? I gave it to, well, I always wanted to meet Paul Newman. So uh, it turns out he has this great charity for sick children. And I thought, uh, hey, this fits in perfectly with my desire to meet Paul Newman. So I gave all the money to his sick children uh, in order to meet him. Did you get to meet him? No. No? <laughs> uh, he sent me a letter, but then I, I, uh, I felt guilty like uh, that I'd given all this money to the sick children only to meet Paul Newman. So I, 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 uh, I talked it over with my uh, Lord, and I decided it was, it, was, it was a venal thing I had done. Well, it was a good, it was, you had good intentions, and maybe because... No, I had bad intentions, but I, I ended up with a good... good action. I had right yeah, right a good here. result. Right. I had a good result, and then I didn't pay off on my bad intentions, so it, it turned out it was all right. All right, so you're back. You um, you got to do Wise Guys last time you were in Utah, last time you were on the yeah. show, and, and Utahns were like, woo, Norm. Yeah, they went crazy, man. I, I, I found myself a beautiful, uh, three beautiful wives uh -huh. when I was here. Good. <laughs> I'm glad we could do that for you. Do you do a lot of Utah humor? No, do I just you read, add that into your show? No, I just here? was reading in the paper today. It said, polygamist charged with sex crime. And uh, when I was young, it would be a man charged with polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So we've come a long way. <laughs> yeah, Utah's a changing. You'd think if you were a polygamist, you wouldn't have time for any other stuff. Yeah, you'd be a busy guy. You are busy. So with your show at Wise Guys Tonight, do you focus mostly on impressions, or is it you feed off the audience? What can people yeah, I just talk to the, you know, I just talk to the audience and uh, whatever's going on in the... Uh, I'll probably go home and watch the, the, the TV and see what news is going on. I'll probably listen to you guys, find out what news is going on so I can talk about it tonight and figure it out. Do you ever get stumped standing up there like you don't know what direction to go next? Oh, yeah, I blank out all the time. <laughs> like, I talk for a while, you know, and uh, everything's going well, and then all of a sudden nothing is in my head except for a big jelly roll. Like, a, <laughs> like when I dream, I dream of jelly rolls. Do you, you guys like jelly They're rolls? Good. Yeah, yeah, but I don't dream about them. <laughs> yeah, I know. I went to a psychiatrist once. I, I think he thought I was a moron, but I go, he goes, uh, can you describe your dreams for me? I'm like, I dream about jelly rolls. He goes, what else? I go, that, that's it. And he's like, he's like, what? He made like a weird face that a psychiatrist is not supposed to make. So did you, you eat jelly rolls as a kid, or that's like your favorite treat now? No, it's like, it brings me great peace. Like right now, if I close my eyes, jelly rolls will start floating in front of my, the back of my eyes. Okay, close your eyes. Think right. jelly rolls while we talk about where you are tonight, Friday. It is Wise Guys Comedy in West Valley. So you're close by. How are the jelly rolls going? Are they floating? Uh, yeah, they're beautiful. Good. What, what flavor is Good. it? Strawberry? No, raspberry? Oh, there's always raspberry jelly rolls. Raspberry. Friday, November 6, 8 and 10. And you're not here tomorrow night, right? Just tonight? So no, you I'm just going to be here you? tonight. Catch you while you're here. Pardon me? So get tickets and get there tonight. Or not. Whatever or, you like. Oh. I'm trying to help you out, Norm. <laughs> I'm selling it for no, you. No, but I don't want people to, you know, if, if, uh, if, if uh, listen, I don't want people to show up at my show if their great aunt has walking pneumonia. <laughs> That's she'll, probably she'll good survive. It's okay. <laughs> no, nah, stay with your great aunt. Give her the love, you know. I'll well, be with fine. swine flu going around, you may not have an audience if you keep up that. So, all right. I'll be fine. All right, so check out Norm tonight at Wise Guys in West Valley. Thanks, Norm. All right. Thank you, guys. Up next, we are talking how to get your lawn looking green in the spring with Joy. We'll be right back. I lost you. Sorry. Watch the cables, man. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, oh Norm McDonald. Good to see you. I'm sorry, uh, Norm, I lost you. Yeah. <laughs> the brakes are a little thin on that. Yeah, that worked out well. <laughs> <laughs>
We can get that fixed back there, too. No trouble. Wait a minute. Are you the new Batman? Oh, <laughs> am I wearing my Batman hat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you've been up to? Well, no, not in real life, I'm not. In real life, uh, it's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> are you talking about the movie? Yeah. The new baby. movie? What are you up to lately? I saw you and Jack and Jill, your great oh, you cameo did? in there. Yeah. You know what I like to see is like a uh, superhero come along that isn't conflicted. Right. Nice. Well, was perfectly kid, adjusted, right? Yeah. It was just Superman. He was all happy, like he was this, you know, uh, Christopher Reeves, and yeah. he was yeah. like, and then they became like, oh, I'm Batman. Like, who's worse, me or the Joker? And you're like the Joker. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any go, sense. Really? Is it? I'm, I'm almost as bad as the Joker. And you're like, no. Of course, the Joker's way worse. Just <laughs> be the superhero. Yeah. Right? yeah. Batman. I've been watching these Regis highlights. and uh, oh, well, oh, yeah, Regis is gone. He, he, right? Well, today's the last day, 9 o'clock. Is uh, it? On WGN, on our, our station, you'll see the final one. Who but they were, the they were showing, they, they haven't announced anything that's happening, but they were showing highlights of you as some of the highlights of uh, Regis uh, through the years. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. What, what, do you, what do you remember? What are some of your Regis memories? Uh, well, one time I was on his other show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And uh, uh, the celebrity who wants to be a millionaire, so the questions are a little easier. Yeah, you won. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they didn't give yeah, you the money. Yeah. Him. No, they no they give it to a charity. They don't tell. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they give it. To they give it to sick children. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's yeah, sure. that's nice. They need you know they need money too. Are you drunk? <laughs> Because all you did was ride a cooler and you're sweating. I am. Well, it's no, it's hot as a, it's hotter than a two dollar. Well, he's got like twelve layers on. I yeah, think. I thought it was going to be really cold. Out, <laughs> well, you're from Canada. This should be like it, this should be springtime. For no, you. I know I'm from Canada, but you know I'm still a human being. Like <laughs> it's not like you evolved differently. Right. <laughs> I'm, yeah, no, I'm from the frozen north. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gets colder than a. It gets colder than a. Oh, uh, here it comes. Oh, no. <laughs> Get your finger on the panic button. No, I think it gets colder than a vampire's demeanor. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Surprisingly cerebral. What do you guys have to do, man? You know, living the great life, living the dream every day. Yeah. Um, every day. Did you enjoy that bit we did with driving around? It was really hysterical. Yeah, I got a late. Uh, I got a late. They they they, they put, put me in late. I don't think I, I would have to take. Where a did look you at go? It. Did you take a worked. spin around the station? I couldn't find you. <laughs> you drove way too far down the road. I, I got a I got a heavy foot. There's a real stream of consciousness thing happening here, Norm. Yeah, it's called conversation. <laughs> 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 but there's no break on mine. There wasn't on mine either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. That's what makes it fun. Right? That's what makes it yeah, fun until somebody gets you know? hurt. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Norm's going to be at Zany's at uh, Pheasant oh, Run right. this weekend in St. Charles. Is this what you do with the crowd? Just stream of consciousness yeah. talk? Why do you keep saying stream of consciousness? I just, I, I, I. <laughs> That's just. The point it's me, okay, from like Hollywood directors, okay, <laughs> is that, that I have a, like, I have a huge head, all right, okay? Now, I don't mean I have a big ego, okay, because I don't, all right? I mean, my actual head is huge. Oh, all gosh, right? I forgot I mean, about that impersonation. Uh, Norm MacDonald uh, impersonating uh, who other than Quentin Tarantino, just one of his. Uh, many uh, people he tackles. Gosh, I still remember. Bob Dole is my ultimate favorite. I know Burt Reynolds is a big one. We'll talk about that a bit. Norm joining us now, who's in Calgary along with Sean O'Connor. Yeah. Sean O'Connor, nice to be Sean O'Connor. Yeah, the future of comedy. <laughs> Back from uh, Terminator. Yeah, there I am. Here I am. Is that a guy in Terminator? John Connor, but yeah, I get uh, Sean. I get Sean Connor a lot. Thanks for coming in, guys. He was uh, in Funny as Hell on HBO Comedy. Yes. Check it out. Are you guys performing together then? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Man. I never perform without Sean. Fair enough. Uh, great to have you guys here. Uh, cool to have you in Calgary. How have you been doing? Oh, I, I'm doing excellent, man. I took, I, took this, I took some time off stand-up. Yes. Like, I did stand-up for, uh, like, 20 years, and, the, like, the longest stretch I didn't do it for was three weeks. Then I took a year and a half off to write a book. 
Yeah, your memoirs. Yeah, worst mistake why, of my life. Why are you doing that? Ah, it was just a terrible idea. Uh, what, when you, uh, why did you step away from stand-up? I know it's your first love. No, it's that's what why. Seriously, because that's I it. You just wanted to write a book. Well, they made. Well, I, I agreed to write a they book. They made you. Well, I agreed to it. Okay. And then uh, I tried to do it, and then I was like, "Holy God!" Like, <laughs> like, just some night, try to look back on your life. And and you'll quickly realize very little happened. Oh come on! Your life is rich. Your resume is massive. You've been a part of some of the biggest comedy stages in the world. Well, that's good for six pages. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they want three hundred pages. And uh, not enough scandal in there. Yeah, and unfortunately, I have no scandal. I mean, I guess everybody knows about my uh, my. Uh, my affair with Mitsu. <laughs> Mitsu. Oh, Momo Cowboy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember Mitsu. Um, this guy's a good friend of Drake. You ever heard of Drake? Oh, really? Uh, I'm not friends with him. I no. met him once, though. You met him once? Yeah. Follow been... him on Twitter? I told him I really liked him on Degrassi, and he was like, thank you. He was cool about that? He was really cool. Yeah. He's this not guy... ashamed of his past? No, no. He can't and get him after Degrassi. my friend Cassie from Degrassi. Oh, wow. In Hollywood. She lives there now. That's a Canadian iconic treasures. I mean, they're all yeah. the treasures to me, from Joey Jeremiah <laughs> all the way to, to Snake. I, now, I, I, I one, one, time, one time I kissed Relic. <laughs> the beachcombers? <laughs> yeah. Were you on a ferry? or? No, that uh, Indian guy from the show gave me some bad uh, heroin. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no. That's, you made that I, up. I, 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 did, I didn't make that part up, but... Uh, <laughs> I did have a long kiss with Relic. Uh, for a show or just a well, party? Yeah, no, I was supposed to be on the Beachcombers. Right. That would have been awesome. With Jackson Davies, too? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it turns out I was never going to be on the Beachcombers. <laughs> uh, and I was just going to be in Relic's hotel room. <laughs> what, were you in Vancouver? Yeah, I was in Vancouver, and I'm like, this is going to be the greatest. I'm going to be, I was, I was supposed to be like the new breed of the beachcomber and everything. That's what Relic said. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a next generation beachcomber yeah, thing? Exactly. Okay. Uh, beachcomber of the next generation. Uh, Relic was supposed <laughs> to be the executive producer, and he'd make occasional like uh, appearances. This is what he told me in his hotel room. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no. This didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> i got to read this book. Uh, Sean. Uh, hey, I uh, should put that in the you book. You should. Uh, I know there's a, a couple generations maybe between you two as comedians looking at... Yeah. Uh, a couple? <laughs> <laughs> Watching Norm over the years and some of the characters, what's it like being uh, alongside one of the best? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, I love Dirty Work and I love Saturday Night Live. And then I worked with Norm. He was my boss, my first boss in Los Angeles. Yeah, John's the awesome, man. Future of comedy. If you show uh, this clip like uh, 10, 20 years from now, you're going to go, who's that old guy <laughs> talking about? Who the hell is Relic? <laughs> oh, I love that I'll story. be like Relic, and he'll be like me, like 20 years. When you look at this in the vault, when you open the vault 20 years from now. Yeah, when I die of a heroin overdose. <laughs> <you can play. laughs> from the oh, by the way, stash. man, my... Uh, my uh, Condolences goes out to Ho Hoffman, uh, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman's still around. I thought he died of a hair. No, virus. no, no, no. Dustin's still with us. We're waiting for Rain Man 2. Didn't he die of a heroin overdose? No, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Who's that? A different actor. I Rain Man? His son. No, no, no relation. Believe yeah. it or not. None? No, no relation. Who's Who, Relic? Oh. <laughs> Well, good uh, luck to you, Dustin. Norm will be performing at the Laugh Shop at the Hotel Blackfoot tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Yeah. Great to have you guys. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks meet, so much man. for coming Thanks. in. Good luck the rest of the way. Much more still ahead when we come back right <laughs> after this. Jordan will be here along with Leslie talking about what's happening outside. It's cold. Much more still ahead. Oh, look at they say revenge is sweet. Bob Saget and Norm Macdonald are hoping it is also funny. Saget makes his feature film directorial debut. Macdonald his writing and starring debut in Dirty Work. Basically two guys who've never done this job before. It's an irreverent comedy that proves getting even can lead to odd situations. They're nice cars. These are luxury automobiles. I got a whole place. They're fully loaded. They're loaded with dead hookers. They're seeing things. Don't 
Don't shoot this. This is not part of the commercial. If some jerk making your life miserable, you want revenge, call 555-0187. Let us do your dirty work. Sort of like Ghostbusters. Yeah, a little bit, but there's no ghost. <laughs> Just hookers and trunks. Hookers and trunks. This is good programming in the morning for your family. <laughs> you, you, you've never done this before. You've never done this before. Nervous at all? Hookers and trunks, or you mean the, the big, movie thing? Big, funny directorial debut, comedy, you, starring role. Yeah. A lot of pressure. Yeah, I'm nervous. No, but, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not because I uh, take the Xanax. <laughs> Three, four cases a week, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, like I sell it to him. Do you? No. Tell me about the movie. Actually, he's a very, very funny man. Funny. The movie? Oh, I'm sorry. I got crazy. I just I was reading that. <laughs> he, uh, the movie is uh, two guys that uh, start a revenge for hire business because one of their dads, Jack Warden, needs a heart transplant. And he's he said, my dad, too. He's both of our dads. You can't say that, though. That's secret information. Oh, yeah. That's the big plot twist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we give that away later. <laughs> Let me tell you how the exorcist ends now. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs, they kill that guy. Um, revenge, what do you know from revenge? Do you have any experience in your own life with revenge? revenge? Yeah, I always like think up uh, revenge is to get back at guys, like if they, if they screw me over, if they do something mean, you know? Really? Oh, all the time. Like this one guy, man, he would always like, what's that, what do you got there? little article about you and a little feud with another network. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's this character over on the NBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, he's the president, and he hates me. <laughs> and you know and, and, and why? He, why? He, he doesn't think I'm funny. <laughs> Sorry, I, should, I shouldn't be laughing if you're not funny. No, yeah, I, I am funny. Yeah. He's very funny. I think he just doesn't know you. He's a jackass. <laughs> What about dirty work, though? What about dirty work? Can I have work? that? Yeah, it's a matter of fact, yeah. <laughs> That's a good yeah. thing. Dirty work is... It, what, what about it? <laughs> it's funny, don't you think? Is it funny? Have you, have you ever done any revenge, little tricks, do little pranks to people to sort of get even? When I was a little kid, I did this thing where I would phone uh, people at random, me and my brother, and uh, we'd go, we'd go, uh, hello? Uh, we'd pretend to be all scary, and we'd go, my mommy, get, my, mommy, my mommy gave this number to call you in case there's an emergency. There's someone at the door trying to get in. There's someone at the door. <gasps> That's terrible. Yeah, it was funny, though. <laughs> he did something to me two days ago. I was driving one of the uh, stars of the movie, Artie Lang, is very excited about everything that's going on with this movie, and he got a brand new Cadillac beautiful black Cadillac. We went golfing. We played three holes, then went to the snack bar, and then we played two more later. And so Artie, we're driving back, and I plowed into a manhole, and I flatted out his tire in the bottom of the with car. His like, new caddy. With his brand new yeah. caddy. He's like cracking up. So the, what, what current uh, kind of practical joke. So thing. this crazy Mexican tow truck driver comes, you know, to fix our, uh, uh, his car. And so then I tell Saget, I go, hey, man, that guy wants your autograph, you know? For his kid. For his kid. So then the guy, like, fixes our car and then sag it like a jackass. <laughs> he comes up afterwards and he goes, yeah, I'll sign anything for you. And the guy goes, no, oh, cash. <laughs> he said, I said, you want, you want an autograph? He says, no, $50. And then he and Artie are, like, on the ground because I was like, you want my autograph for your kid, right? And he goes, no. Did, 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 was, this very pleasant. was this movie fun to make? I mean, was it, is, it, is it more fun to make comedies than to make dramas? Because you've made dramas before. I made a drama about his sister died of a bad disease. Right. I mean, you, I mean you've done the other thing. Is this a, is it a whole... You know, it's interesting that you told us both. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I'd done it till now. But you've also done some other directing as well. Yeah, I mean, this... A lot of people don't know. You started back in college doing directing projects and things. Right. Um, but this thing, you know, is, is comedy is uh, a collaborative thing. And, and, and Norm and uh, the, the writers, Norm wrote it with Frank Sebastiano and Fred Wolf and our producer Bob Simons. Everybody was working together to get the funniest stuff that we could get out of it. And Norm, it's Norm's sensibilities, a lot of it. And it's really uh, because of that, I fell in love. I don't know scary. what he's talking about, but we got I was funny people in it. California. We got, uh, uh, you know, great, the great Don Rickles, Chevy Chase, Chris Farley, all the funniest guys I know. <laughs> Are in the movie, so are, it makes it. Yeah. You know. Are are you uh, are you happy to be doing movies and not TV anymore? No, I love TV the best. Do you? Yeah. Maybe one day I could fill in for Spencer Christian if he's over in Atlantic City. Or Do something. you think? <laughs> he always is, you know. I know. I saw him there once. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. How he had you a, lose? He had a feverish look on his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Norm McDonald and Bob Saget. We're done. Best of luck with dirty work. Thanks, Lisa. You and Kevin are great, man. <laughs> Thank Seriously. you for saying that.
Norm McDonald's dry delivery, willingness to hit any off-limits topic have for decades made him one of the funniest people alive. And this morning, believe it or not, after all these years, making his Today Show debut. That's How could that be possible? Crazy. I know. It's almost unbelievable. I know. I've never been on the Today Show, unless you count me when I used to stand out there. <laughs> and wave. And, of course, everybody knows him for the stint at uh, host of Weekend Update on NS SNL. Serbic Wit back on display as a judge on NBC's last comic standing reality show that aims to find the best stand-up talent in the country. One of their winners, Amy Schumer, of course. Amy uh, Schumer, yes. I think right now, is the funniest person in the entire world. Do you really? Really? Yeah. Not woman. Person. 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 I don't disagree with that. I put yeah. you up there, but she's, she's I'm close. Number, oh, I wasn't counting me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Counting me, she's the second funniest person in the world. Okay, how do you think you would have fared on Last Comic Standing? Oh, not well. <laughs> but I'll tell you why, because I did Star Search. We're all old enough to remember Star sure. Search. And uh, it was, it was oh, called International wow. Star Search. Oh, there I am. Inter there I am with my great jacket. That's a nice tailored yeah. bit. <laughs> Your big so brother came into it. It was called International Star Search. So it was me against another guy. Just two of us. It wasn't the regular Star Search. So I represented Canada, where I was from, the least international of all countries. <laughs> he represented um, uh, Africa. So he had a tribal robe on with a hat. Later I learned he was from Seattle. <laughs> But so I went out and I had two minutes of material that I had worked. You only get two minutes. And so I had timed it out at comedy clubs, but I made the mistake of adding laughter into the two minutes. And I got no laughter. And uh, the judges, one of whom was Robin Leach, the judges are always kind of suspicious on that show. Like they'll, Ed McMahon will go, our next judge is for the... <laughs> Chief Operating Officer of Tri Media Artists International, something, and uh, so four of them. So, uh, anyways, uh, I get no laughs. You know, my minutes up, and then I'm just, and I look over at Ed McMahon, a man who really was paid to laugh. You know, yeah, sure, a professional laugher. He's glaring at me. Oh no! Yeah, take some time off from laughing. And you've still got a minute to fill. At I that still point. got a minute, so I'm just yapping, and then. Uh, uh, I get off, and I'm like, so, you know, our agents always try to make it feel better, you know. So I said to my agent, oh, that didn't go well. He goes, oh, no, no. He goes, that's always in the show. They sweetened it later. Don't worry. You did fantastic. They just, the, this audience in, in Sarthers doesn't, and then after that, I couldn't hear him because um, Bushman, that was his name, the African guy, Bushman said one joke, they laughed two minutes, and he left. He's done. He's done. Guy from Seattle wins. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so do you find it hard? I know you're a huge fan of, of stand-up, and you love it. Do you I find it hard to judge other people doing stand-up and say, eh, that kind of stunk? Well, you know, <laughs> they say, you know, judge not lest ye be judged. They do. Huh? They, that's scripture. That's what they say. That's what they say. And, uh, and, and that's what I believe. Except uh, they paid me money. So, <laughs> so you've been dropping the hammer on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, no, I, uh, yeah, I try to be honest. You know, you got to be honest. I mean, you don't have to be, but, you know, you got, good. You got all this way with uh, being, you know, relatively dishonest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I feel you have to be honest. So I tell the people, uh, oh, man, you suck. <laughs> That's what they want from that's you. That's it. Yeah. Norm that's McDonald. what they're that's looking it. for. Right. Norm McDonald, it's good to well, see you. Well, it's great to finally meet you. I, I can't believe too. I haven't met you. My goodness. My. Well, Last Comic Standing's two hour premiere. Yes. Tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central, right here on NBC. Come back soon, Norm. Thanks, Will. Number I'm a two. Big fan right. of both Thank of you. Thank you. Okay, he uh, got the national attention as the wittiest Serbic anchor of Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live. Now he's starring in a brand new movie out called Dirty Work. Here's Norm MacDonald. Hi, Norm. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Norm is here. Norm's hey. so much in the news every I know. time I turn around. What? Oh, me in the news. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. Hotter than ever. Yeah. My gosh. Looks like they did you a big favor over there at NBC. Yeah, they hate me. <laughs> oh, but look what happened to you. Became what? a movie star, just that's, like that. Yeah, that's true. But hadn't you already started filming this movie long before that whole controversy began? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what do you make of all this? Uh, what, what, what do I make of it? Yeah, what's the point? Well, the point the of what? The fair to make, you know. Uh, I, who? 
<laughs> oh, um... So you got to explain to the people. No, right they now. read the papers. They know. Yeah, they know that NBC has banned uh, promotion or commercials featuring your movie uh, yeah. on, on their network. Because yeah. so. this character, Don Olmeyer, he's the president of NBC, you see? Yeah. And he hates me. Yeah. But you've only met him one time, I understand. I've only met him once. So this is not a personal thing, reason that he hates you. Because... Yes, he hates me personally. <laughs> But you like him, don't you? I think he's a fair enough fella. I met him once. He seems like a stand-up guy. Yeah. I don't hate anybody. That's you right. know Don Olmeyer? I've met him a couple of times, sure. He yeah. seems like a nice enough yes, fella. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I don't, you know, put it this way. He, his, his best friend is O.J. Simpson, right? <laughs> now, if you can like O.J. Simpson, you can like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder what it is about. I mean, he's a, he has his foibles, OJ. <laughs> yeah, Wait, sure. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> I love that word, foibles. Although I think OJ is kind of re rehabilitating himself. Did you see where he's stabbing that woman with a banana? Have you seen that? At least that one doesn't That's a lot hard. better. That's, you know, it's not it's a, a step sharp forward. It's a it? step forward. Yeah. Well, let's talk about you now. Let, let me ask you something. Yes, Another sir. guy from Canada has come and invaded show business here yeah. in the United States. With an acerbic wit. So many funny guys come out of Canada. What is it about Canada that produces all these comedians? What do you think it is? Um, I don't know, because when I'm in Canada, no one's funny. <laughs> you think it's the long, dark, cold winters? You just have to find yeah, something to laugh yeah, about? Yeah, we don't have dark winters. We well, don't live in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> but they're long, aren't they? They're long and cold, yeah. and they're cold. And really cold. Yeah, they're cold. <laughs> so when you're a kid up in Canada... I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but they're cold. <laughs> yeah. When you're a kid growing up in Canada... Yes, sir. You, you see American TV? Yes. I used to watch you on the Joey Bishop show. Is that right? Yeah, I'm when... 60. <laughs> and you're 60? Now that's funny. You like that, huh, Barry? Barry, our camera will uh, Well, that's good. So I inspired you, or Joey inspired you then to become a comedian, huh? Joey. Joey, Joey Bishop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, Chevy Chase, I understand, was the guy you I love Chevy, you know, when I was a kid watching Saturday Night Live, yeah. Chevy was always my favorite guy. So then when I wrote this movie, I put Chevy in it. I put all the guys I loved. Chevy, the great Don Rickles, yeah, sure. the funniest guy ever. Yeah. And Chris Farley's in it, all the guys I love. That's and this great. is the last movie Chris made, right? This is the last one he made. Yeah. Mm. Were you real close friends with him? Yeah, he was a great, great man. He was always funny. You ever have him here on the show? I yes, we, we did. had Chris yeah. on the show. We had uh, we had a Mother's Day segment once where we had, some, or did I see that on your show where the mothers of the stars came out? <laughs> I was there. Uh, you know, I watch your show there a lot. It was either I on Saturday your show or you saw it on television. Yeah, I just can't. Remember. <laughs> well, from time to time, we've had the folks on from Saturday yeah, Night Live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, when you've been on for as many years as we yeah. have. You yeah. can't remember really where you ever met anybody. <laughs> well, let me tell you about you. What I loved about you, in addition to Bob Dole, oh, yeah. Bob Dole says no. <laughs> he does the greatest impression of Burt Reynolds doing Celebrity Jeopardy. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it's a classic. A classic. Chewing the gum. Chewing the gum, gum and gum, yeah. watching the MC, you know, and yeah. then coming out with his own yeah. uh, real quick, making right. his decision. He just says it real quick. It's great stuff. Great he says stuff. like. Uh, he, was, he says everything real slow and cool, you know. Yeah. Like he'd go, if he was, was here, he'd go, uh, Regis, uh, you're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, so true. He snaps that little face yeah. to Yeah. Yeah. He's I, the coolest. I miss him and I miss uh, uh, Dole. And what was the other classic? Oh. Larry King, you too. Oh, yeah, I love doing now, Larry Rich, King. Now, Rich, do your Larry King Let's one. Let's hear you. Here's my Larry King. King. All right. It's going to be quick, but right to the point, baby. Right. And don't steal this from me. All right. Larry King on the phones. All right. Altoona, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's give the kid a break. That's it. <laughs> No, I don't do him from his radio show. I just do him from the, because uh, he has his article in USA Today. His column. Yeah. His yeah. column. Yeah. And all it is is he just, anything he thinks of, he yeah, writes right. it down. Sure. Yeah. His thoughts. Yeah. A king's thoughts. Yeah, a king's they're just thoughts. like completely random. Like he'll go like, uh, blue is a great color, but for my money, yellow is the best. <laughs> <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> That's all it's supposed Larry. to make you think. Yeah, it makes you think. Because I don't care what anybody says, Hitler was a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> no one disagrees with that. Of course not. What's the matter with Larry? Doesn't he know that? Well, what did you take? He, he proposed to me once. Really? <laughs> 
What did he say? Just on commercial break, he asked me if I'd like to be his next wife. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take it when he said, I don't, is this bragging for me to say I don't take Viagra? What do you make of something like who, that? Who doesn't take Viagra? Larry King in his column recently wrote, really? is it bragging to say I don't take Viagra? I'd love to take that Viagra. <laughs> this, is, this is what's odd to me about Viagra. It's only for impotent guys, yeah. right? And it lets you have sex for like four hours. And so meanwhile, who's the guys that can have four hour sex? The impotent guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fair. It's not fair. We got a pause. We'll come right back with more. Monday on Live, Joan Rivers. Now, let's talk about this new, the new movie called Dirty Work. Dirty Work. Yeah, Somebody's got to do it. I've read yeah. the synopsis of it. It sounds, yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Two guys who just can't seem to get it together, right? Yeah, we can't get it together, so we the only thing we're good at is getting back at people. Yeah. So we open a revenge for hire business. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, yeah, this is good. So if you need revenge, you see, you'd come to me and I'd figure out a revenge. <laughs> let's suppose there was somebody that uh, was getting, you know, was a mean, you know, then you... Treating would... you unfairly. Exactly. I would come to you and say, I want revenge. Yes, and I'd figure out a way to get you revenge. Well, you do this in the movie to, uh, to Don Rickles, don't you? Yeah, Don Rickles was great. Well, what did he do to deserve some revenge? He was just Don Rickles. <laughs> what I love is that I read that you wrote insults for him. He didn't like them at all. He wrote his own insults. Yeah, he just did. We just said, do whatever you want. Yeah, you can't. And he just insulted us. And it was great because uh, he... Uh, it's funny when he insults you and it makes no sense. Yeah. You know? Like, you'll just go up to you and go... Listen, uh, why don't you go to why don't you go to Alaska and live in a shed with a rake? <laughs> and you go, what is that? Mean? You're talking to the right person. He thinks he I loves love Don. Oh, yeah. It's a great idea. As a matter of fact, we have a clip from the movie featuring uh, Don. Oh, great! Let's look right. at it. Let's take a look at a scene <laughs> from Dirty Work. Norm Macdonald and Don Rickles. <laughs> what are you laughing? Because I called your friend the fat pig, huh? think that's funny. Oh, no, I was just laughing uh, earlier when you were talking to his belly. Did you get a horse and live in the mountains someplace and don't bother anybody? Got a personality like a dead moth. Okay. The fun's over. Anybody messes this thing up for me tonight is through. Not only are you fired, your life is over. I'll see to it that you never work again and that you wind up tearing tickets off in Kuwait. Salam alam And everybody sucking sand? Nobody messes up. You understand me? Don't mess up. <laughs> Have a nice day. He happens to be one of the sweetest guys in the world. That's the irony yeah, of it. You yeah. know, he really is. So you like acting, huh? So this could be the beginning of a whole new career for you. Yeah. Just like Chevy left Saturday Night Live, went out to Hollywood, became big movie right. star. Well, acting is tough. I mean, uh, one of the toughest things is you don't have your own name. Like, my name's Norm, yeah. as you well know. Sure. And uh, my character's name in the movie was Mitch, you see? Uh -huh. So in the scenes, like, a guy would say to me, uh, would say, uh, uh, hey, we better get going, Mitch. And I go, huh? <laughs> and then they go, cut, cut, yeah, right. you know? You're not used to this. Right. So then the next time they go, uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's get going, man. We got to get going, Mitch. And I go, yes, yes, me, Mitch. All right, let's get going. I'm Mitch. And then they go, cut. Uh. And Bob Saget directed this. Right? Yeah, well, you know, there's bad news and everything. <laughs> <laughs> How is young Saget? Is he's he he's actually there, right hey, Bob, over there. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Right over there. Nice to see you two guys survive making this movie together. Well, Norm, Norm, Bob's a great man. Bob's a great man. And a good woman. We've been <laughs> together for a while. <laughs> and now he's a big movie director. He's a big movie director. If, tell, it's, a, if it's a big movie. Tell, <laughs> him, what, uh, tell, tell him what Rickles uh, said to you when he first met you about what Scorsese. Oh, Rickles uh, actually said, uh, Bob, you're very, very tall. You're very tall. Martin, Martin's very short. Very short man. That was it. <laughs> no, Martin. <laughs> Scorsese. Scorsese, man. When he first heard? 
He said, I'll do it. I don't remember. He said, uh, you know, Rickles meets him and he goes, you know, because uh, he did uh, uh, Casino with uh, Martin yeah, Scorsese. Sure. And he goes, uh, I just talked to Martin and I told him uh, you were my next director. And he went, ah! Oh, that's <laughs> He left me a message. He called me at my office and he said, uh, I don't understand. He left these messages. He said, I hit two in pound and I hit three in pound. I don't know how your Jew spaceship works. He says, call me, Saget. I miss you. Don Rickles. It's very funny. How is he as an actor? Uh, what He's really think? good. Yeah? Think he is. Should? Yeah. I think the man is incredibly talented. I'm not just saying that because we have a movie opening on June 12th. <laughs> No, he's really, he's, he's in full commitment. He says he wouldn't answer to, you know, the name Mitch, but he did. Yeah, yeah. Not to me, but to other people. Well, you gave it 100%, huh? Now, yeah. can this guy become a romantic leading man in the movies? Yeah, he turns me on. <laughs> No, I, I think, I, I, all kidding aside, I've talked to a lot of uh, ladies, a lot of, lot of ladies, and they all say they find this man very sexy, and they think it's... What else do you need? His eyes. They, like, they love his eyes. beautiful eyes. Oh, beautiful eyes. They twinkle. <laughs> And he's got those Tom Selleck dimple things happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the new Tom yeah. Selleck, absolutely. He's got the little wavy hair thing happening. Yeah. yeah. I think you're getting to Kathy Lee. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, so it opens on June 12th, right? June 12th. All right, Hi. guys. Yeah. Good luck to you, man. Thank you very nice much. Nice to have you here. Young Good to see you, baby. Good to see you. We'll be right back with Mrs. Green Thumbs. Come on.